Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy XIV in my Let's Play series. Now as you can see we are now up to the Lord of the Inferno mission which is the level 20 mission of the main story scenario. And as you can see if you've got to about the point of where I am now you're about to go in after getting this cutscene here, the Bull of Embers. Now if no one's sure what the Bull of Embers is and haven't been watching the cutscenes, you're about to be in for a little bit of a shock. Because now you'll be fighting, that's it guys, Ifrit. Or Ifrit is what people call him, but I call him Ifrit. So we're going to be going into the fight of Ifrit, but real quick, just again to remind everyone to, if you've got food, make sure you've got food, you know, use it now would be a good... Good idea. Now, obviously, we're not going to be using the food for such as EXP, but we're using it for the actual attributes. So I'm going to use my Knight's Bread. Um, I don't know how long we're going to be waiting for the duty. Hopefully, not too long. So I'm going to go straight in and see how this goes. Now, while we're waiting, I said this last time and it keeps popping up. While we're waiting, I can just uh, prove to you again, look, I haven't even repaired my armour, it's not really needed. And um, I've, I've, um, I'm now at the level to uh, do the quest to convert my armour now from equipment into materia. Um, as you can see, I've spirit bonded pretty much everything here. I think everything should be spirit bonded by now, or spirit bound by now, yep, yeah, everything is. Um, we also got retainers. Now, I'll probably go into retainers in another video. This video will probably be primarily just the Ifrit fight. If you seem to be waiting for quite some time, I'll probably just cut out the waiting time. But it shouldn't take too long since we are a paladin and paladins don't usually have to wait too long. Now, I've been doing a lot of um, other quests. As you can see, I've got one here to hand in, another one here. That one's the... Um, the Chocobo Jockey Quest. Sorry, I had to think of the name of it then. So we can become a jockey for the Chocobo races back in Gold Saucer, which I've got to add. I'm still excited to to have the opportunity to show you guys. And I'm such a Final Fantasy fan anyway, so I was like over the moon as soon as I heard that Gold Saucer was coming out. Um, I need to hand in this quest. That'll get me 4,000 XP. So I've been doing a lot of the quests and I haven't even touched my hunting log, and yet I'm level 24 now. So, my hunting logs have not even been touched. I don't think I've killed anything. Nope. None of this has even been touched. So, the later I get on into the level 20s, the better, because then it will be less EXP for me to get to get to hunting log number 3. And it's just EXP waiting to be had. So, the, le the levels will get higher, and they will take a lot longer to level. Um, regarding that you still continue with the main storyline, that is the, probably the only quickest way I can say of leveling and of course doing your levies and everything else. Admittedly, I haven't done many levies and I've been mounting them up as you can see. I'm just going to use the mouse cursor system here. As you can see, I'm on the allowances of 39 levies now, which is insane. Uh, you can cap them at level 100, so I'll, um, sorry, level 100. You can cap them at 100, so I will do that. But for the duty finder as well, I can now continue on with getting some more, excuse me, uh, guild tests done. Now there's one there at level 25, for example, you can see for just doing one guild test there, I'll get 10,000 EXP, plus I'm going to get just short of 3,000 gil. Now my gil, other than buying the equipment I'm wearing now, and maybe, the, admittedly I did do a few tellies to get around back and forth to a few places, just in the last few missions. But as you can see down here, I'm going to have to use a cursor because I'm, I keep saying down here and pointing to the screen and you guys can't see that. Uh, you can see my gill has it's a, it's a reasonable amount of gill. And I haven't touched my retainers. I am going to go into, go into retainers in another video. But on that note, that couldn't have been any better timed. We are now ready to go into the duty of Bull of Embers. Now it's been a while since I've done this fight, but there's a bit of a tactic to it. I'll try and talk us through it. If not, at least you can see how hard the fight is. But I will definitely get this fight done on camera. Um, I'm going to do my best to try and talk us through it. I'm going to advise straight away to use food, which I've already used anyway. Um, and of course, again, I, I repeat, check over your abilities if you're not sure what does what. Um, so let's kick some butt. 
Lord of the Inferno, here you are. We have got Gladiator, me, Conjurer, or oh, it's actually a white mage. Um, we've got a monk called Rogue, that's going to be confusing. And we have a Arcanist, or, which is basically a summoner. Just going to say hello. I don't know, I always do the smiley face. I guess I'm so happy all the time. So I'll skip the roll ready to go. Okay, let's do it, guys. I'm going to use Provoke. Now, I should have actually um, swapped over Provoke there. But not to worry. I'm going to actually fight this way around. See if I can turn him, that's better. Now, my blind now actually. Sorry, my flash now actually blinds the, um, blinds the targets. Or all AoE, so I'm. I, you know, every time I flash, he's going to blind him. I think possibly the the blind timer goes down over time when you're casting it, but we'll see about that. He's, so he seems to be flying down his health at the moment. He's not posing too much of a threat at the moment. It's some of his abilities later on you really do have to watch out for. Eruption, as you can see, he's crackling some move there. You've got to, if you're a mage and you're fighting alongside that way, you must move out of the way of... Of that one, otherwise he will explode you on the spot. Okay, so now he's doing eruption again. You can see the mark on the floor. Just simply run out the way. And he does get more deadlier as his HP goes down. So you'll see he'll probably spam his moves a lot more often. But as a paladin, you want to be looking him this way. Eruption again, you can see there, look. Now after a while he will spawn what they call, a, it's like a kind of inferno nail. You must kill that ASAP. If you don't kill them, as you can see the nail are there, you will end up, um, he will end up using, I think, Hell's Fire on you. And it will wipe the whole party. So as you can see, they're killing the infern, infernal nail, I think it's called. Just going to use a high potion to um, ease the pain of hearing. Okay, there we go. Whoa, this might hurt. Whoa, I see. If you don't actually get that nail down in time, he will end up using Hellfire, and that damage you just did on me there would have been more extravagant than it was now. Again, Inferno, he's just doing another move there. We gotta run out of the way. The um, whole tower, or my Arcanist, actually got caught there. Astral Plume, you want to watch out for that? I think it was called Astral Plume. Again, another AoE needs to be on your team. Radiant Plume, look, I need to move out the way quick. Otherwise, he will blow you up. <laughs> and again, he's just going to get more deadly, so you need to be really on your toes in this fight, even as a tank and a healer. Eruption, again, Eruption, you want to look out, watch out for that? I think, unfortunately, that Arcanus was just a bit too slow there. Got caught, but not to worry, the mage healed him. Radiant Plume, or oh, everyone has to get out of the way. Again, the monk got caught that time. It is an actual case of being on your toes, look. Radiant Plume. You can run back just as the move is being hit. And before you know it, the end of the fight, with, you know, the use of a limit break. And with a good lineup like that, it was first time round. No problem whatsoever. I enjoyed that fight. Anyway, that was the end of this small and short video of the Ifrit fight. I hope this helped anyone who might be stuck on it. If it did, please leave a like, comment, favourite, subscribe, all that stuff. And of course, share this video if you've got Final Fantasy friends. So until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye for now.